Do that. So you're dating or you're in a relationship with somebody with borderline personality. And maybe, of course, you didn't know that in the beginning, but you're coming to realize that now, or you've known that for some time. Well, a question that I get a lot about that is simply um, involves, you know, does that mean that the person with BPD will always ghost you? Or in the common parlance today, discard you? Uh, no. So, you know, if, if you have an untreated partner or ex with BPD or family member, any relationship type, person with BPD untreated, is it inevitable that they will, um, that this ghosting, discard will happen? Well, no. I mean, it's, it's more common than ever before now, especially the last 10 to 12 years. I think two reasons for that are psychiatric meds and um, the, you know how they complicate the reality of what people BP are going through. And the other thing is, I think, social media. And there might be other things, but those are two major things. So it's not true that every person with BPD, um, I'm just looking back at what was the question, um, will discard you or will ghost you. Because there are many with BPD who don't do that. Just as there are many people with BPD after relationship breakups that don't hoover. They're not all the same, and they're not all women, and they don't all do the exact same things. They don't manifest the patterns of what BPD is, which is, again, comes from and based on adverse childhood experience. So uh, it's not inevitable that if you're with somebody with BPD, they will they will split to devalue you that you know and many times and 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 micro splits but and not re idealize that's very much common in one way or another sooner or later with every untreated person with bpd but it's not true that every person with bpd that you're dating or in a relationship with that it's inevitable that they will ghost you or discard you and why do I know that? Well, because I've been working with clients for 31 years now. I was here to help you if you resonate with me. And many, many of those clients, and still today, you know, uh, maybe more are getting ghosted and discarded now than ever before, especially in younger age groups and, you know, all ages. But that's that wasn't always the case, and it isn't always the case. So... A lot of what informs me about what I share here to try to help you out, keeping it real, to help you heal or help you get further along or maybe just have something, you know, connect with you that you think about something a little bit differently. However, I just hope the videos are helpful. However, they're helpful for people. It's really important to know that just because there's so much information out there saying, well, if you're with a person with BPD, then, you know, like they're going to discard you. It's just ipso facto not. No. Because they're not all the same. And we hear a lot about, and, and on my channel too, we hear a lot about, you know, um, men seeking answers to what's gone on and understanding about the borderline woman. But the borderline woman isn't unique. The borderline woman isn't different from the borderline man. I mean, in some ways, obviously, right? But, and the manifestation of BPD can be somewhat different between men with BPD and women with BPD. But we don't hear enough about men with BPD because they're sort of like invisible. And yet more of them than women with BPD are in prisons now. So, you know, not all men with BPD. But so the whole point here is not every person with BPD is going to ghost or discard. And even for the ones that do, then there's a certain percentage of them they don't understand what they're doing consciously. You know, they really don't. But there's a percentage of them that are always going to keep coming back. They keep coming back. They keep coming. If you don't go, no contact. They'll keep coming back and they'll keep coming back and you'll keep being reengaged if you don't take care of yourself. And or, you know, a lot of people sit there and wait, you know, because maybe the person with BP untreated monkey branch. Maybe they cheated on you. And then when they're done with that next person, you want to take them back. Wow, you know, that that's no judgment, but that's where you got to really think about what, what are you doing and how that is also a pursuit 
for those wonderful feelings in the beginning in the honeymoon phase, which by the way, I'm having more and more clients in recent years who, who tell me like there was no honeymoon phase. <laughs> you know, it seems like that has sort of been really shortened or gets skipped over by a lot of people with BPD today. So there's a lot changing in the presentation of especially younger people with BPD, younger meaning maybe like under 40. And, and of course, then again, you go down to people in their 20s or late teens. It's like, it's just the way that they are treating people, abusing people, um, in their unconscious, like the lack of conscious awareness, the way that they are manifesting the patterns of BPD today, and the more complexity to those patterns, there is more complexity to those patterns today than ever before. So with all that in mind, you know, um, it is really important to know that a discard or ghosting isn't inevitable. And then um, many people are ghosted and it's not actually a discard because it's like, no, I still, born I would say, I still love you. I still want to be with you. I just needed a break. So there's all this, this, and I would refer you to my, you know, the borderline just taking a break, but they're gone, uh, ghosting, you know, kind of video. I can't remember the title. But the bottom line is it's not inevitable with every relationship, with every person with untreated BPD, that they're going to ghost, ghost you or discard you. And many people still have to, there, there are maybe more people on one side of the scale now where they're getting ghosted and discarded, but there are still a lot of people, a lot of clients I work with, but they're going through the agonizing, uh, you know, difficulty of trying to decide and knowing they need to break up with somebody with BPD, but how to do that. And there was a question on the channel recently, I did a video about um, just that, you know, somebody wanted to break up with somebody with BPD, but avoid all of the horrible treatment that they were getting from this person. And so that that's another complicated reality. But so anyway, just wanted to say here and don't want to make it any longer that it's not inevitable that for everybody who's in a relationship or you're dating somebody with BPD and you find that out, they're not all going to be the ghosting, discarding uh, manifestation of, you know, the adverse childhood, unresolved, unhealed aspects of what they've been through that keep replaying themselves out in relationships and adulthood. Some of them are too clingy and too needy and will not leave you. And then it gets really hard for people to break up with those type of people with like that type of pattern that gets manifested in untreated BPD as well. So it's simply not true to say at all or accurate that being with a person with BPD means obvious, unavoidable, they're always going to ghost or discard you. 